everyone, welcome back to my channel. Chris is Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. Sorry, I um, was as promised. I'm doing my uh, tenth episode of uh, this segment, Studs and Duds, and I've got a good one for you today. Actually, I've got what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve items, and I could have gone even more, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't a too. The video wasn't too too long. Uh, so people would stick around and watch the whole thing. Uh, great, great amount of items that sold. Uh, as you'll see, some of them were not as good uh, products that I purchased and wanted to flip, and, and we'll go through that. But for the for those of you new to the channel, I do this. I try to do it once a week. I show you the items that I sold on eBay. I tell you what, what I paid for them, and I tell you if I would buy them again by giving them a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So let's start in no particular order. This is the first one. I remember picking this up. This is a Polycom CX300 desktop Microsoft Office communicator. It's from 2007. Uh, it's, it was brand new in the box. It was pretty much, take a look at there, factory sealed. Um, I picked this up for $29. I thought I could get more. And what happened here? was when I was looking it up on my uh, phone, there is a newer model to this one that has more features and it works with different software. And I thought that this was the one, but it wasn't. So if it was the other phone, it would have been a $100 sale. So this one here, would I buy it again? Thumbs down, no, I think it was a dud. But if I found the other model for the same price, I would buy it. So there you have it. But uh, keep an eye out for this Polycom Microsoft Office Communicator phones, guys. Now, here is that Toshiba DVD player that I showed you guys I picked up. I think I got 10 bucks in it, if I remembered. It was late in the day. No, it was 14 14 $14.99 less 20 That's right. It was late in the day, and I picked it up uh, on my final walk around the store. It was in one of the uh, uh, carts coming out. They were, they were actually putting stuff out, and... Uh, Sold right away. I think I got $89 for it. I was asking uh, for $99. Um, I had it up as high as $29 and then lowered it. It actually went to a guy in the States. He's got it and he loves it. I, this was not a DVD recorder. It was just a VCR recorder. But the key thing here, it had the manual, the AV cords, and the remote. And it was really, really clean and it worked great. This was the SD V394SC. Now, I thought I would get more money for this, guys. This is a Tandy Radio Shack multi-tester, uh, range tester for electricity and other things, right? Um, model number was 22-206 DCAC. And it was a mint condition. This thing was so clean. Like it was like brand new. The battery compartment was like brand new. I thought I would have got a lot more. I think I sold this for $39. I was asking $49. I had it up as high as $79. Um, and just I wanted to unload it. I think I got 6 bucks or 7 bucks into it. I don't remember. But um, again, uh, would I buy this? This is a true stud. Absolutely. I would pick it up again. Um, you know, for the amount of margin I made and put it, got out of it, it was worth worth the deal. Now here's one. I must have had this for a year and a half. I thought this would sell. This is um, this is a pretty large slot machine, and um, it was brand new in the box. Uh, I think I took it out to take a picture. There you go, and it took all types of different coins, worldwide coins. Um, I actually sold it for $22, guys, just to unload it. I think I bought it for $20, if I remember. Uh, I'll never buy this thing again. Uh, just, I'm glad it, it sold at Christmas time just to get it out of my inventory and try to get my money back. Would I buy this again? Nope, it's a dud. Never buy it again. Now, here's one of two that I, per I found in the last month. Um, this was the Meccano Special Edi Edition. Dual motor designer set, 610 parts, 50 models, new sealed. The part number was 221610. This 
was a good score. I think I got $9 into it. It was factory sealed. I believe I sold it for $69.99. These Meccano sets that are sealed, I think as this one was retired, it was a 2010 model. Uh, but they do sell very well. Keep an eye out. Look, look out for these Meccano sets, guys. Uh, especially the ones that, with the large parts. Uh, it's like this one's got 610 plus parts. They're very desirable. Big, big thumbs up on this one for sure. All the time, I would pick. I would buy them. Now here, this was funny. I was at a thrift store, saw this. It was $5.99 in the office section. You know where they keep. You know, you know what I mean if you go in a thrift store. And um, this was pre-owned. It was $5.99. And a week later, I went back and it was still there. And I picked it up and I said, let me see what it sells for. And it sold for up to $79 pre-owned. And some of them didn't even have the box. This had the box, the manual. It was very nice condition. Whoever had it took it out of their PC and put it back in the box. Um, I sold it for $39.99. So... I, I watch a lot of guys that sell vintage computer parts, and um, they do sell very, very well. And I'm going to be on a lookout to flip, to flip like five ninety nine, you know, to four to four to forty bucks, like thirty nine ninety nine. I do it all the time, for sure. Big stud fine. I would buy these all the time if I come across them, in this condition though. Now, I hope I showed this to you guys. On one of my videos this is the aviva fishing buddy it's an actual boat that you put hooks on the back and it's remote control and you can actually catch fish weighing i think up to two pounds um and this was brand new open box the packing inside was missing i tested it it worked great i think i bought it for 9.99 and i sold it for 49.99 uh, to a guy down in Texas, he wants it for his kid for Christmas. Uh, would I buy this again? Absolutely. This is a unique item. And there's another model I found on uh, doing a Google search. Uh, I can't remember the name of the boat. And that one goes closer to 100. So take a look out for these. And I think they're retired. There's not They don't sell these anymore. Big stud find, big thumbs up. I would buy it again. Now, this is Amazon Kindle three paper white uh old old stock 2015 the tablet or the kindle was still factory sealed inside i paid 29.99 for it i had it up as high as 79.99 thinking i would get a little bit more um i unloaded it for 49.99 i i was hoping it was a different model uh, because it was an older model the value wasn't there when i picked this one up again in this condition yeah, maybe if the price was cheaper, I would. Um, and I would, yeah, thumbs up. But uh, they do sell. I like selling selling these. They sell pretty quick. And uh, I just made a mistake when I was looking up at my my eBay app. I, and I looked up the wrong one, which happens a lot. Now, this is interesting. This is, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, stud thumbs up fine before I even talk to you about this. I found this in a Salvation Army in Brampton. And it was an open box sitting like this. And the items inside were, it looked like old computer parts or something for or whatever. A laptop or projector or whatever. So it was for $4.99. Um, I picked it up. I looked at it. And I put it on my phone. And it sold as high as $188. So I've had it up and down. And eventually listed it for $99.99. And I had a best offer of $79.99. And of course I took it. $4.99 into $7.99 all day long. I will do it. Uh, but this, these old, old uh, adapters from Sony. Um, this is an RGB interface adapter. Uh, they sell very, very well. So are you going to find them? I don't know, but I just lucked out on this one, I think. Now, this one's interesting. I picked this up for $10, I believe. And uh, I didn't test it in the store. I took the cover off. It had the typewriter the cover off. It's a manual typewriter. The Eaton 400 um, from 1970. And threw it in my cart, took it home. And unfortunately, it didn't work. The The carriage here that moves back and forth uh, when you type, uh, it wouldn't move. So 
you know, I was like, man, if it, if it worked, I would have got over a hundred bucks. So I listed it as pre-owned selling as is for parts or repair. And I sold it for $49.99. So taking something that, you know, it's vintage like this that doesn't work and you're not going to go back and return it or dump it out. Try selling it for parts or repair. There's people that are looking for these. And this thing was in nice shape. Like it, you look at that. Had a little bit of wear to it. You know, the keys were in good, good shape. So the person that bought it, maybe he's going to repair it. Maybe he's going to use it for parts. But again, I would pick this up again for sure. Big thumbs up. Now, here is that part that I picked up for $14.99. And I featured it in a few videos ago. And it was sitting late in a, um, in a thrift store in Actual Value Village or IE Savers in Burlington, Ontario. And I looked it up and it sold. If it was working, it would sell for almost $300. So I took a chance. I brought it home. I had a power adapter for it. I plugged it in and it didn't work. So I got to thinking, okay, I'm going to see what I can get this for. So I priced it high, $129.99. And as I was doing the video showing you guys uh, the item I found, it sold right after that video for $129.99. Big, big stub, stub find. Thumbs up. I would find this all the time. Look for this company, Kawaii, K-A-W-A-I. This is the K1M Digital Synthesizer Module, untested. So I didn't have the power cord. And in the back here, you'll see there's a card slot. I didn't have the card. And again, uh, got really, really good money for this. Big stud find. I really stoked about this sale. All right, now the last one. This is another old stock item, guys. This is a Matrix DG2 A2A IF dual head external graphics expansion module. So this, what this does, you hook up your computer and you can hook up your computer to two different screens. Now, this was open box, but everything was new inside. Pretty much still factory new. Uh, it's like somebody took it out of the box and they never used it. Um, I picked this up for, I think, $7.99. And um, I had it up as high as 80 bucks, And I sold it the other day for $49.99. This is a good stud find. It was sitting uh, in, on a shelf in the electronics section. And it's amazing. A lot of people don't check their phones for items like this. They just think they're old computer parts and they don't work. Check, guys. Check all the time, and you'll be surprised how they sell. So, And this is another stud find. I really, really love finding stuff like this. Big thumbs up. Okay, guys, there you have it, and we're done for an episode number 10 of Studs and Duds. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. It's freezing up here in Canada, or where I live. Uh, it was minus 17 today Celsius. So what's is that 0, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0? So with the wind chill, man unbelievable how cold it was so anyways i want everybody to stay safe stay warm if you like the video hit the big thumbs up uh i'll be trying to do another video tomorrow camera girl one and i are going to go head out and we might go back to that that place i showed you with all the recycling in it and we might spend a couple hours and pick through there tomorrow that's my plan so if i do shoot it you will see it tomorrow night or the day after anyways guys until next time chris from chris's treasure chest we'll talk to you later